Hey guys, it's Doublelift, and I'm basically just making a vlog, and the purpose of it is to tell you guys my feelings about this whole situation, and I just want to lay out, like, just my honest feelings on it, so, like, in a non-emotional way, like, not when I'm streaming, and just let you guys know the truth. So, in terms of me messing up a lot on CLG, I'm just going to be upfront about it. Like, I messed up a ton, and nobody's perfect. I messed up a lot. So over the four years, like, I had a really negative attitude and I would bring people down and I wouldn't trust them. Um, and you, I could justify it at the time because their performance was really bad and they were getting distracted by girls or partying or other games and not trying as hard. But to be honest, like, when you're on a team, it's pretty, it, there's like no excuse. You need to trust in your teammates regardless of how much effort they put in. So um, I would always like be a really negative teammate. And then this last year, um, it was just, like relatively the same problems where I would bring people down and there was a time at Worlds where it was a Smithy Visa situation, I'm trying to remember. So like Smithy couldn't play at Worlds, we announced it. It was a Visa problem and this is a person that I was really close with on the team and we had been working for an entire year to finally make it to Worlds. It was like our dream come true and then he couldn't play and I was super upset about the situation because uh, I felt like the organization had messed up. Uh, because it was it was a visa problem that was that was fixable. So I was really really upset, and I caused a lot of stress for the organization. And I didn't support who he playing as well as I could have, because I was just really really upset, and um, that was unacceptable. I should have supported who he in his transition in the jungle role, even though he was new. Like I should have been there teaching him, helping him, giving him like a lot of advice. But instead, uh, I wasn't really doing that and I could have been so much more supportive. So, like, I guess what I'm saying is I, I messed up a ton. Um, I'm not ever gonna deny that I made a lot of mistakes, but the thing is that I tried really hard to fix them and I was getting better and improving and there's like interviews and a lot of proof where my teammates and coach had said that I made a lot of progress and I wasn't just trying to improve, I was improving. Um, and like, in the, like, between Worlds and now, Andy had come to me and given me a, an offer, a really competitive offer, an offer that honestly CLG can't, can never match. Like, it's just, it's too competitive. So, and I turned it down because I was loyal to the team and I'd been sticking with the team for four years. Uh, like, this is a team that I grew with and I was committed to grow with for forever. Uh, but the sad thing is, like, honestly, they weren't committed back. And that's what just really hurts. Like, it's, they turned their back on me even though I was committed to them and I had turned down a ridiculous offer with so many more benefits and so much higher pay from from TSM, the most successful organization. And like, I had so many opportunities to leave, but I never did because I was loyal. And I really believed in loyalty. So, and that brings me back to like, okay, loyalty to the org, uh, that really hurt. And the other thing that really hurt is, I feel like people really misunderstand the Afro situation where we had a really great working relationship and we had a lot of fun playing it together. And we were friends. And maybe we still are friends, like I'm not saying like it's all over, but uh, the reason why I said we weren't friends is like the truth is Afro went to the org and he said it's either me or him, referring to me. And I'm not playing with Peter next year. So like that doesn't seem like a very friendly thing to do. And when you hear that and you confirm it, I've confirmed it with Afro myself. Uh, when, you, when I heard about that, I didn't think that we were friends. Like, that is really a, a very unfriendly thing to do. Because uh, I was trying really hard, and I was willing to work through our problems. And I even, I can, you guys can confirm this with Melixia. I went to Melixia and I said, I know Afro and I have a lot of problems, but I'm willing to work through them. And I want to get better, and I want Afro to get better. And, like, we're in this together. But, uh, obviously, like, to me, I feel like he gave up on me as a friend and as a teammate. And like speaking of Melixia, I don't think anyone should have really any ill feelings towards him because he really facilitated everything. And a lot of the things that he says uh, after talking to him last night, I realized that he just trusts in his management and his management had told him a lot of things. Like they had talked to me over the years and they told him all this information and he took the word of his management uh, because you know they told him this is how it would happen. But from my perspective, that's not how it happened. I tell you 100% honestly, like, that is not how it happened from my point of view. And Malixia was just, he trusts his employees. So I, I can't really blame him for that. And I think we both agreed that there is a lot of misinformation and miscommunication. Uh, that's just the nature of things. Like, that's how CLG was ran. So 
I think he's going to do a really good job as a CEO. And he really facilitated this whole process of me being on TSM. And I think we can all agree that I'm way better off on TSM. And I think TSM wins, I win, and CLG ultimately wins because um, if they really hate me so bad, then now they don't have to deal with me. So like, I think it's really just a win all around and the only shame is that this had to go public. And I think that's just really unfortunate because it doesn't really make anyone look good. And it, yeah, it just, it just feels really bad to be a part of this. So that's why I just like had to make this video and I guess clear some things up and tell you guys how I feel and then I'm just done. And I, I really do think TSM treats me extremely well. And I feel so good about being on the team. They treat me uh, amazing so far, even though it's only been a little while. But uh, they really do believe in their players. And I just know we have the same goals. I want to win Worlds. They want to win Worlds. Winning NA isn't good enough anymore. Um, they've always treated their players extremely well. Every player who's like ever been redone or retired or whatever, like TSM always goes out of the way to help them. And they only have good things to say about the org. So I'm going to do the best I can on this team to like earn their loyalty. And I really respect Andy and everything that he's done for me so far. Uh, and I respect Malixia and everything he's done for me. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and I hope you guys will just continue to support me on TSM, because this is an org that I really, really believe in.